In this video, we're going to talk about a second strategy that we can use when subtracting decimals. Now, don't forget, it is really important to expose ourselves to multiple strategies when doing any operation because not only does it help us to find the strategy that works best for us individually, but it also really helps us to understand what's going on with these numbers. So you may have seen the strategy before, you may not have seen it before, but it's really important to try to figure out what's going on when the strategy is being used. Don't forget to take really good notes and jot down a few questions along the way so we can discuss this a little further in the classroom. And also remember that you have the opportunity to pause, rewind, and even rewatch this video at any time. So let's go ahead and see what strategy two is all about. In strategy two, I use an open number line. And you may see the, have seen this before, you may not have seen this before. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my subtraction problem and I'm gonna change it into an addition problem. And you might be asking me, why are you doing this? This is a subtraction problem. Why are you turning it into an addition problem? Well, the truth is we, like, we tend to like to add more than we like to subtract. It's a little bit easier to add. And using an open number line kind of helps us to jump numbers to make it a little bit easier. So instead of looking at the problem as we're taking away 0.4 from 2.63, I'm going to look at it as what can I add on to 0.4 to get to 2.63? And I'm going to use an open number line to help me. So the point here is I want to start at 0.4. And I want to jump on the number line this many places until I end at 2.63. And when I am using the number line, I want to make sure that I use friendly numbers, which means numbers that I can calculate very easily in my head. So I'm going to start again my number line at 0.4. And now I know that I have to at least jump two whole numbers because I'm going from 0 0.4 to 2.63. So I'm going to go ahead. You can just jump by adding two. I'm just going to take it nice and simple. So I'm going to say plus one. So 0.4 plus one gives me 1.4. And then 1.4 plus one gives me 2.4. So I'm not done yet because remember, the whole point is I want to end at 2.63. So if you look, I'm already at 2.4. What else do I have to add to get from 2.4 to 2.63? Well, I don't have to add any more whole numbers. So now let's look at the tenths place. Well, in this tenths place, I have a 4. In this tenths place, I have a 6. So I want to jump at least two more tenths place to get from 2.4 to 2.6. So I'm going to go plus 0.1 or 0.10. That's going to get me to 2.5. And then I'm going to add another 0.1 to get me to 2.6. But I'm not done yet. Because I'm only at 2.6. And remember, I need to get to 2.63. And that 3 is in the hundredths place. So I still need to add 3 hundredths. And what does that look like in decimal form? 0 0.03. That's 3 hundredths. So 2.6 plus 3 hundredths puts me at 2.63. So I started there. I ended at 2.63. How do I know which this number is? Well, you have to think about the jumps that you made. You made all of these jumps to get from 0.4 to 2.63. So now what you have to do is you have to add those together to find out what your actual answer is. So we're adding 1 plus 1, which is 2. 2 plus 0.1 is 2.1. 0 
2.1 plus 0.1 is 2.2, and 2.2 plus 0.03 leaves us with 2.23. So 0.4 plus 2.23 is 2.63, or 2.63 minus 0.4 equals 2.23. That is how you use the open number line to, to subtract decimals.